traveling with somebody, it pays to have communications of some sort. This is not a CB. It's a two meter ham radio. We both have them. Uh, don't throw rocks and stones at me. I do not. I would pull it so we can pull the main slide out. That way there's room, I guess. Copy. We do not have our license, but that is a two meter repeater radio. It only works off of repeaters or line of sight. And this thing won't talk more than about a mile because it's line of sight. <clears throat> I smoked that bird. You did? Yeah. So we're not interfering with no ham radio guys right now. Uh, the repeaters channel that I'm on is from my hometown. There is no repeater up here with that frequency. So we're not bothering nobody. Is it illegal for FCC? Probably, but arrest me. I'll let to tell you. Look at that view. Boom docked at. It's a rest area off of two. It's a really nice rest area. Uh, it's crowded. If we first come in here, I think we get in, but there's another guy down there. Been here since we've been here. But they have this boardwalk that comes right down here. Excuse my walking. I don't have a gimbal. It's really windy, too. Hopefully, this dead cat's working. But they got this little thing. And through the sands of Lake Michigan. It's a balmy 68 degrees, about a five, six mile an hour wind. It was very pretty. They say this is the farthest northern point of Lake Michigan. Northernmost. Northernmost. That's there, right? nor will we. Free camping. Hopefully. Fred, where several have stayed here, never had trouble, so let's see what happens. First thing that happens, we got a Head to a bigger lot. Hey guys, we made it into Iron River. Uh, we have friends here, and they moved up here a few years ago. The one is from here. Uh, the spouse is not. They're, I, think, I think the ones from up here know them from Ohio. But uh, they moved up here and they bought a restaurant and they opened it up about four months ago. So that's what we surprised them. This, and we did surprise them, I'm sorry. Somebody was nodding at me. I squirreled. But this is owned by the city of Iron River. Of Iron River. It is a 32 site, 32 sites, uh, anywhere from primitive to 50 amp uh, sewage, cable TV. It's actually really nice here. It's a little pricey. 
Uh, I think we're paying 32 a night for full hookup on 30 amp and cable TV, which is fine. It's not hot here. It's 77 degrees. It's perfect weather up here. They just don't really get hot this far north, I guess. But uh, we did. We walked in yesterday to their restaurant to our friends and uh, walked in the front door. They had not a clue we was coming. Uh, walked in and they kind of looked at us and said, oh, welcome to our restaurant. And they looked away, then all of a sudden they looked back and of course the tears started flying. And it was very good. We're gonna leave here in the morning and we are heading up to Picture Rock. We've been here, this will be our second night. And uh, this town, we're gonna head to Picture Rock and up there I, we're gonna try staying in a casino and boondock. But this town is just a sleepy little town. It's really, really cool. I couldn't tell you how many people live here but I'm guessing 2,500 max. Uh, the downtown is very small. Has a McDonald's and a KFC for fast food. That's it. Uh, has a really good pizza place. Couple bars, a few businesses, Ace Hardware. I mean, that, that's it. It's a big hunting town in the winter. Snowmobiling in the winter. Uh, I don't know if it's real touristy this time of year for this area, but it is really neat. We also learned what a pasty was, paste, however they say it. And it's basically a bunch of dough, uh, and they put in all the meats, all the potatoes, all the anything you want in it, and it's and it's sealed in dough and it's cooked, and it's from the miners being here. This is all mining up here, iron ore. And the women would make these pasties, and I'm probably not saying them right, but they'd make these and they'd go in their lunch and then when they'd get down the mines, they'd pull them out and warm them up on their shovels. And they didn't need no utensils, they didn't need no plates, nothing. And that's where it actually come from. It's a UP thing. Okay, this is my buddies. And you can see the sites are really big. They can accommodate a very big unit. And then we're right next to him. We did call ahead. I don't think you'd have to, uh, but we did. And they said that these two spots are actually small spots. Uh, you can see his fifth wheel. The, he's got a corner lot. That's pretty big. Of course, he's lots over here. They have Wi-Fi, but kind of like any campground, it sucks. They did just mow. They have a dump station here and water. You can come off the road and dump and fill full water. They charge you, but you can get it if you're in this area. And this is Iron River, Michigan in the UP. And of course, this is our lot. Got some bleach over there. I uh, did my gray tank and my black tank. The mosquitoes are horrible up here. Horrible. But we haven't had to run the air or anything. It's been really nice, but if you're sitting out in the evening, well, you are. You better be covered in something. Like I said, I think that's their state bird up here. But We're gonna head out in the morning. We are going to head to Picture Rock. And we're gonna try to do a little bit better video. On the video and coming up 75 and uh, over the bridge and stuff. It was just, it was shaking. She was trying to hold on this big camera. And I think what we're going to try to do is do the GoPro a little bit more and hopefully get the footage out of it. We'll have to see.
a world. Uh, so we are headed out of Iron River, had a great visit with our friends. Hate to really hate to leave, but we are heading up to a casino outside of Picture Rock. Uh, it's up on Lake Superior. It has seven RV spots with electric. First come, first serve, all free. So, say you stay up to four nights. We are going to go use that as a base and spend a day or two. How long it takes to take in Picture Rock. And then I think we're going to try to go over to a bear farm. It's kind of on the way home. Have to do a little research, see if we even get in it. And then start our journey home. We're going to try to go home a different way. Uh, instead of 75, I may go down 127 or 31 or 131 or one of them. So. Let's see how this thing does. Hopefully it won't bounce around too much and it'll be a lot better footage. Is that white motorhome over there? There's one on the other side of that one. Uh, I'm gonna get unhooked here and see what I can come up with. <laughs> 